Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Oh, I'm so excited that you find your way back. I have to tell you, all your sweet comments and all your thumbs up and everything, it makes me so happy and it really gives me the inspiration to keep uh, coming out with these uh, small card movies. And uh, lately I have been very interested in creating uh, interactive cards and uh, I have one of these uh, for you today also. I am going to create this card for my baby sister. She is turning 24 this weekend so I am really excited to create something special for her. I am using this uh, stamp set from Neat and Tangle. It's called Big Top Birthday. I actually love this stamp set. I think it's so much fun and you can really create um, many different types of cards with this and I think this fits perfectly to create an interactive card. As you can see I stamped out uh, the images that I'm going to be using for this card with some Memento Tuxedo Black and now I am coloring them all in with some of my Spectrum Noir markers. As you can see I'm using fairly many of them so I'm going to be listing them down below. <laughs> if you followed me uh, in my previous videos you know that I'm sometimes says that I'm going to uh, list them all and then I forget in the end but I am fairly good at go going back in and uh, correcting, correcting my mistakes if I forget some of the markers. So please give me a hint if you're missing something and then I can list it um, after I published this movie. When I have uh, colored all these images in, I am going to be continuing working on them. But now I'm gonna turn on some music and you can listen to this while I'm coloring. Now, when all the coloring is done, I am going to be fussy cutting all these images out. You know, I still haven't got my scanning cat, so it just has to be some fussy cutting here. And I'm doing that really carefully. Uh, as you can see, that little string uh, tied to that donut balloon, I am actually cutting off because I, I don't need it and I think it looks uh, great anyway. But if you want to fussy cut all those out, you sure can do it. Here I'm taking my X-Acto knife and going around that little hole in that uh, donut balloon and I'm doing the same to that arm and I'm doing that really carefully. This is teeny tiny bits that you're cutting out and actually you don't have to do it if you don't want to. When I've done that I'm going around uh, all the edges with my fine line marker and this just gives this um, image a little bit more of a life and depth and make, make it look like I did this perfectly. When I'm done that with all the images, I am going to keep working uh, on our card. This is a yellow paper and it's gonna be the front of this card. I am taking a sentiment from this stamp set called uh, Hip Hip Hooray. And now I'm just uh, pressing that down in the center of this card. I'm doing this, um, this hasn't doesn't have to be perfect. You can see that I messed up a little bit. There are different spaces spaced out and they are a little bit curved but it doesn't matter as you can see I cut out a piece of uh, vellum and that is going to go over top of this so it will uh, hide some of my mistakes there now I'm gonna keep working on the inside of this card here I'm just taking my ruler and marking off the um, uh, where the middle of this is and now I'm just marking off um, two other parts uh, since this is going to be an interactive card uh, and the interaction <laughs> or what you will say is going to be in the inside of this so I'm just gonna here you can see I'm just spacing them out so I think this looks great now I'm taking my scissor and just cutting two small strips at either side of that mid uh, mark that we created and I'm doing them a little bit different I'm doing one a little bit taller and the other one a little bit smaller. So when I open this up, 
I can just take this and pop them inside and this will create uh, the panel for these images to be sitting on. <coughs> Sorry. So here I'm just uh, playing around with the placement of them and here you can see the thought behind it. So this is going to be glued to the inside of this uh, panel. Now I'm going to work <coughs> with that uh, Piece, I am going to be taking some small strip of acetate paper um, or transparency sheet, I don't know what it's called but you can see here what it is. And when I cut it, three strips of this I'm going to take some um, adhesive and those bakeries I believe they are muffins uh, and I'm placing them, two of them at an angle and one of them straight up and this will create the thought is that it will look like he is um, uh, throwing them up in the air. So when I'm done with that, I'm just gluing them to the back side of him. Making sure that I have spaced this out uh, great. And that it really looks like He's throwing them up. And when I'm done with that, I'm gonna work with her. I'm taking some of my Wink of Stella, this is the clear one, and just going on over the little donut. And then I'm taking some glossy accent and just um, here you can see that I'm actually taking some uh, transparency sheet and just securing that little donut uh, also so it doesn't shift. And uh, since I'm going to be coating this with some glossy accent uh, you have to be really careful so this doesn't get too heavy for that little teeny tiny string. And I'm coating her nose also. So here comes the fun part, now I'm just gluing the inside and I will press down that white um, inside part. And here you can see that I'm carefully lining this, that up and then just pressing it firmly down and going over all the edges so it doesn't shift. Now I'm working with that uh, inside, um, I'm sorry, now we're working on our front uh, side and here I'm just taking the little bear and placing it on top of that pedestal and I'm taking some um, foam dots or foam squares and just running that along the back side and then I'm peeling off the release paper and pressing it down uh, in the middle of that uh, vellum circle that we created. I used some of my Avery L pierced circles to create this vellum piece. And now I'm pressing it down in the middle and I'm taking some adhesive to the middle section. Oh, here is where something goes wrong again. I forgot that I wa uh, wanted to uh, stamp an image in the inside also that says happy birthday. And I have to be doing that before I'm taping this to the outside. So here I'm just in a hurry pressing this down so that the glue doesn't dry and to keep it from smearing on the inside I'm just taking uh, that piece in the inside and now I can press it down. So here we have the outside is done and now we can keep working on our inside. And now I'm just taking some adhesive to the lower part of her feet and just pressing them to our uh, small, I don't know what it's called, pedestals or spaces to pop out of, I don't know. <laughs> you can see anyway what I'm doing. So now when I've glued them together, uh, actually I waited until the uh, gloss accent had dried before I did this so I didn't smear it all over. So here you get a close-up of how it looks when it's finished. 
and you can see how cute it is when you open it opening this up i hope you like this card if you want to create something similar this was really fun and easy to do don't be afraid to try this technique out if you want to see more of my work you can always subscribe to my channel here at youtube or visit me at instagram my name is scrapbooking underline sphere and please if you like this give this a thumb up so i know that you liked it and i can continue to create more movies until next time have a great day bye